Hello guys, it is Peanut AJ, and today I am doing the 1920s in Animal Jam. Before we get started, do not forget to enter my intro contest. The ending date is April 19th. And don't forget about my giveaway. Sorry, I'm out of breath when I started this. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the first episode of a series. Unlike my TikTok and Trends and Animal Jam series, this one I planned it out better. Learn, live and learn. Yeah. So this is going to be a 10 episode series starting from the 1920s and going to the 2020s. So I think I've explained that fairly well. Let's get started. So first, I'm going to get into some clothing. So I'm going to clear off my animal. I think I don't think I'm going to be able to use my lemur. Bye bye lemur. So this will also be an educational series because I'll be leaving in facts and information about each decade. So these are probably not going to be some good colors for this. So I'm probably going, I'm getting into some glad rags, which is what back then they would use to, to call party clothes. So yeah, we're getting into social events slash party wear. I'm going to be a girl because I don't know. Let's be blue eyed, brown eyed girl. <laughs> there we go. So a lot of times, cloche hats were very popular. I think I pronounced that right. So they were like really round hats. I haven't seen anyone in that. I don't think I've seen anyone in it currently. Just. I don't know. It, look, it sort of looks like that, but like more round. You know, normally have like a flower on it. So bobs were a really popular hairstyle, and this is basically a bob, maybe a little longer, but it will work. So flappers were also really popular, and they would wear beaded dresses, which is where that style trend came from. Beads were really popular back then. They would also have beaded purses, which would hold their makeup compacts. The, they should really add beaded stuff in Animal Jam. I don't know. I love the beaded dresses. Not a lot of people wear them now. I don't think I've ever seen anyone wearing it now when, I was, when I've been alive in real life. But they're really pretty. So a dapper was, a, was the name of a flapper's father. I forgot to mention this, but flappers were musical dancers. I think they would also sing. So the faux gemstones were also really big back then. So I I know that I saw this when I was trying to get my lemur ready in some nice apparel. Faux gemstones were super big. So there we go. We have that sapphire ring. Oh, or we have that purple one. I like the purple one. <laughs> I like purple. And thinking of rings, a handcuff was sl was 1920s slang for an engagement ring. So, I think that this outfit is, as the 20 peoples would say, Jake. Jake was used to describe something that was fine, that was okay. I don't think there's beaded necklaces in here, but I'll check. Oh, look, there is! Perfect! Let's get some brown, let's get a nice purple coat. Ooh, that looks good with a necklace. I don't know. I'm gonna get a purple coat. That looks nice. That looks yes. Okay, let's go out and use some. Learn about some '80s sling, slang. Whoops, what's sling? <sighs> Slay me. Now, a alarm clock was a. Was sl was 1920s slang to describe someone who now would be called a buzzkill. That's really all I have for this video. I hope you got. There will be a 1930s video coming up next, so that will be coming out soon. Bye, guys.